Hi guys, um, Xmonet is a rather difficult in the sense, uh, difficult desktop in the sense that it's it's compiled, right? It's an application that runs. And Xmonet, I'm just load up the old one. Uh, in short, it will build all the new ISOs for the release of mid November. But this is the old one, and I just wanna, there can't be enough videos, right, to try to solve and teach how t this particular desktop Xmonad uh, is going to work. It's it's based on Haskell. It has so many dependencies, so many packages. And yeah, from time to time we get Xmonad or Qtile, both of them uh, come back to us because of updates and then the versions and the libraries changed and all that. So if you are in that situation, I hope we get something in VirtualBox here. I'm not sure. But um, the thing is, if you do, then you go and go to TTY, make sure that you're able to enter TTY with a Control Alt F2, F3, F4, right? Or in VirtualBox, I could do the same, but with a right Control F2, F3, F4, and then we update our system. We log in, we update with the alias update, we reboot, maybe a scale because it depends. Some point in time in Qtile we had this line that was, how do you say it in English? It was a command that was um, not used anymore. So hence everything blocks, right? Qtile sees an old command and says, but I crash. And what happens then? is you get a nice light DM or SDM or GDM, you log into the system behind it. And that can happen with all tiling window managers for sure, that if the config is, is, is not correct, that it reacts as I can't boot, I can't start, there's an error. And you're thrown back into the SDM. And I think many people say that SDM is broken. No. It's not, right? It's, it's just a, a failsafe, actually. It, it throws you back. And if you have thought of having a second desktop, and that's not a, a bad idea if you're working with tiling window managers, have XFC there, have Cinnamon there, have something you know, and you, you always know it will be there. And XFC has been, has been true in that respect for me on all uh, parts because Thunar is used in Awesome and BSP WM in Qtile and Xmonet and Hadapsluft WM and Left WM. I mean, all these parts of uh, XFC that we use in all our tiling window managers. Great, right? So that's the topic of the video, right? I hope we get an error in Xmonet. Um, but uh, there was a video online, and there is a video online from, from me. Uh, says okay you can do an x monad recompile but this this particular moment in time which is later in let's say october no, yeah let's say november 2021 it's already taken care of right the recompile uh, of x monad is normally inside a hook where would it be here it is recompile x monad hook recompile x monad h hook so even if you forget to recompile, we thought about it. So if there is something essential going on in your system, it's going to actually um, do it without mm, that you know it's automatically done for you. Well, let's wait for the installation to go hopefully into to break and so that we can teach you some more. I better start recording again. We're almost at the end. Then we restart our virtual machine. The ISO is still in there. So I'll go manually to boot existing OS. Then we're booting from the SSD, VirtualBox SSD, and everything is working. We're just logged in. So no issues here. Once you install, you have the reflex to update and update is as good as update. And since 
probably beginning of September so September October two months time yeah we can more or less say one gigabyte per uh, two months of updates that sounds like a normal number here so some people ask us wow so many packages right then Arch Linux is not for you as simple as that if, if um, bandwidth is a problem or the volume of the downloads is a problem there might be better Linux uh, systems out there with less packages less updates and let's wait for that to be installed the key rings there we go again can't there's not one video that I don't mention it's sometimes keys and that's one of the it's not a bottleneck it's it's a it's a nuisance from time to time the problems with these keys always right so one of the things you should remember and once you know that's it and you're safe for the rest of your life but that's it if there is a key if there is somebody who's new and who signs a package and then the package comes in Pacman says who is this who's signing this I don't know this guy so the Arch Linux keyring is actually the, the package that's going to get all the, the 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 key signings the signatures from all the people in and to say okay Eric has a key that's his key if he gives a package with that key you can trust it that's basically it the web of, of trust they call it I think uh, we do have time to quickly navigate to the internet um, Arch Linux web or trust or something Arch Linux web of trust and uh, and read right read uh, become um, master signing keys but it's a T and then maybe it's still the same URL I think we get to the image there is a special kind of image this thing is like a fun thing to pull at but basically one key says I am the master key and I will sign your key and your key and your key and because I'm signing your key your key is going to be trusted as well as that's how it works more or less right okay go and read scale is what you do why i don't know is are there are article next stuff in here look at all the haskell things so in this respect that's where it can go wrong right and we don't have we have zero control of over all the packages coming from arch Linux of haskell and probably are some article links there they are it's a scale it's a scale it's a scale so we had at some point in time a tile failing because an old command boom right we have to make a new package that's our thing follow the evolution of qtile for follow the evolution of the python version and the same applies here if something changed the xmonad so scale is what you need to do otherwise you have old commands with a new application now it works right so a new uh, application comes in and the same commands and new commands must be applied simple as that and then we as all right And voila, we've got ourselves another Xmonad installation. I press Super C. Why? Conky is gone. Out to start away because why? I don't want it. Let's see if, if RAM is there. RAM is available. Yeah, RAM is there. So let's get our the list. So the list is the N mirror list. This is where the packages are coming from. I guess it's already written good to know that hmm. so when I start RAM it has already overwritten bits and pieces here but um, voila this is where I'm getting it now from Cilian VDB France that's the faucet for the moment and Uzbek is ooh, six sevens down here so it's a bit lazy today anyway you update your system see if these servers when they're synced if they're okay 
a ball won't do a thing because there are no AWAR packages installed so it's still the same thing I have told everything that I know the tips and the tricks and all that help right give the version recompile it says mm, recompile so basically that what's that's what the hook does voila Xmart recompilation process exited with a, with success, meaning everything is okay and the rest you can ignore that. Um, I do believe there was a log, but I can't remember where it put it anywhere, but there must be, has to be, I think, anyway, <laughs> I might be mistaken. With all these desktops, I don't know if this one had a logging system so we could check what's going on with Xmart. But anyway, this is what I would like to share with you guys. Everything went terribly well, so no crash, nothing to do. But it gives you a, 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 a backstage side of how and why things can crash, right? Because of updates. It's always about configurations, updates, and why am I thrown back to SEDM or LightDM because of the configuration that's behind it. It's not because of SDM, because it's it's beautiful, it's there, it's present. You want to log into something else, and that fails. And SDM says, oh, I need to catch the user here, because we have an issue, and you are thrown back. All right, have fun exploring the Linux desktops. Cheers.